Welcome viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. This is JK Engineering and Architecture coming to you again with another video. So this channel, as I've said on numerous occasions previously, that if you want to learn about construction, if you want to learn about engineering and architecture, this is the channel for you. And if you're a prospective builder, or you're going to do some form of construction, this channel serves as a benefit to you so you can have prior knowledge as what to do or how to execute your plan when it comes to construction. Now, in my last video, I did say to you that I'm going to speak to you about topographical survey. Now, what is a topographical survey and why, why is a topographical survey necessary to be done whenever you're carrying out your construction? Now, prior to carry out your construction, to execute your construction, especially if your land is slope, you need to get a topographical survey done. And usually the architect or engineer they request of the client to get a survey involved, to get a topographical survey done, to determine the difference in elevation throughout your property so that they can know how to design the building properly and they can know how to place your drainage structure throughout the land. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to interpret your topographical drawings whenever you, time you get it from your survey. So stay tuned for this video. And as usual, if you're watching my channel for the first time, ensure to subscribe, watch the videos until the end, and leave a comment. And to all my regular viewers and subscribers, the same goes out to you as well. So. Stay tuned for this video. Now on your screen here is a graphical representation of what a topographical survey looks like. So as you can see, for those of you who are new to this, and you're probably not understanding what is going on here. So these lines here, on this survey diagram, and by the way, the survey diagram, so this is a survey diagram here. So this is a survey diagram here, this red broken line here. This represents the survey diagram. And these lines here, on the survey diagram is what is called contour lines. So a contour lines, as we know it, are lines which are drawn on maps to indicate heights above a certain datum. So as I mentioned to you before, a topographical survey is used to check the difference in heights of your land so that you can know how to set out your building on your land so you do not have to do a lot of digging or you do not have to do a lot of filling. So if you look now, so let me zoom up. So these are your contour lines here. So if you notice the, the, the surveyor start out with a contour line of 100. 
and then from 100 here so all these line here these these this brown type of line here so this is one year this is another one year this is another one year another one year so we have 100 we have 98.750 we have 97.500 and we have 96.250 those are your main contour lines so your contour your survey as reports usually carry what is called a legend so as you can see the broken line here this broken line the stroke with a dot in between represents the boundary line and the red and yellow line or brown line represent the contour lines so so what we have here the first contour the surveyor has gotten 100.00 so in the events that you do not know where these number comes from so what the surveyor has done when he goes into a certain area he has a certain mark a certain benchmark so he transfer his elevation from that benchmark onto the land so Evidently, the benchmark in this era is, is somewhere around 100, as they are about. So, if you don't know what a benchmark is, let me show you a symbol of what a benchmark represents. So, this represents a benchmark. So, where I live, I can find a couple of these, but I have gotten this picture online to show you what a benchmark looks like. So, a benchmark, as you can see here, this benchmark is telling you that this point where it is located, it is 8,155 feet above sea level. So elevations, I must tell you again, is taken above or below sea level, but usually above sea level. So this is what a benchmark looks like. While I was doing a, um, bridge, um, working on my bridge projects, there were a benchmark there, so whenever time we want to find the elevation of a certain point on that project, we, we can measure it from the benchmark and know the difference in height, and we can then calculate the height of that structure. So this is what a bench a benchmark looks a benchmark look like. And I think there's another um, photograph of what a benchmark looks like. I think I have two of them. So this is one. Right, so this is what a benchmark really looks like, right? So for those of you who have never seen what a benchmark looks like, this is what a benchmark looks like. But I, I'm not sure if this is how it looks back in Jamaica, but for what I can speak of, the ones that I've come across in the States here, they look something like this. So that's what a benchmark looks like. So if you observe, so our first point here is 100. And as I said, that 100 is taken from that benchmark. Then the second contour line is 99.750, So if you follow the sequence of this line, you can see that the elevation is reducing as it goes across the land. Again, what you must observe that as the contour lines is going across and down, it is reducing. So right where we have 97.500, it comes here, it goes down to 97 97.250, 96.750, 96.500, 96.250, 96.00. 95.750 so clearly it is going down so you can definitely see from the benchmark of 100 the land is sloped across to the left and it is also sloped towards the back based on what the contour line are demonstrating to us right so another note that you should look for on your contour lines when your contour lines are spaced further apart that means the slope is gentle 
But if you observe from the control line here of 97,500 through to 96,250 through to 93,750, you notice these contours are very close. So when the control lines are very close, that means your slope is very steep. So when the control lines are further apart, the slope is gentle. And when the contour lines are closely together, are closely apart, that means your, your slope is steep. So, so if you want to find out the difference in elevation between a point on your land, you have to find the difference between the contours. So in this area here, we have we have 97.500 and 93.750. So to find out what is the elevation in between these points, you subtract 97.50 to and 93.750. And the difference of that will give you the height of that slope. So if you know if you want to do a small example of that, so we could do it like this. We could do a little demonstration here. So we have we have here 97. Point Five zero zero, and that's meter. Are we going to subtract ninety ninety three point seven five zero? So the difference in elevation is three is three point seven five meter. So that if you should convert that to feet, that is because three feet is equivalent to one meter. So you have here approximately 10 feet. So the difference, the difference, the difference in height here is approximately 10 feet. So let me let me convert this 3.75 to feet and then we can see what's the what's the difference in elevation. So if we should convert that, go to the internet and you can just con Convert that, convert, convert meters to feet, the heat here. So in the meter column, you put in three, 3.75. So that works out to be approximately 12 feet. So the difference here between 97 Point five zero zero and ninety three point seven five zero is three point seven five meter or an equivalent of twelve feet and that is quite steep that so this era here is quite steep so that is how you can check the difference in elevation on your topographical survey this information is vitally important to the architect and he can architect can decide how much split level you're going the building is going to need for it to come to one floor level so i'm going to show you one of my the, the building that i've designed for this property so the elevation here the front elevation of this property here it cuts the line here of 99.250 at one corner and the opposite corner is 97.750. So if we should go back to the control map, the bill is going to intersect this 99.250 on one side and the other side is going to, is going to impact the building, is going to impact the building of, of an elevation of 97.750. So if we should observe that, if we should do that, all we need to do is just subtract this elevation of 99.250 from 97.750, and we're going to get approximately 1,500 
millimeter or 1.5 meter and that is going to be equivalent to five feet. And I did this all the way around the four corners of the building to get my difference in elevation. So if you notice at, at 99.250, I level this line here all the way through, through, through to the back of the building and I'm getting an elevation of 99.654 and the elevation on the land itself on the surface is 96.00 so let's let me show you that so right here we're going to look for 96.00 so this is 96.00 here so the back part of the building is going to cut this line here and if you observe i didn't push the building all the way down towards the back of the land because i observed that towards the back of the land the slope is very steep and i want to cut down on the amount of split level on the land. So that is crucial. As I said to you before, if your land is very steep, you will want to call in the surveyor for the surveyor to carry out the topographical survey. The architect or the engineer is going to use those data to design your building so that your building can be properly set out on your land to reduce costs in terms of cutting and in terms of filling. Because you have to buy material to fill and you, got, you have to rent equipment to cut. So another thing that I should point out to you that these, these contours are done at an interval and I think the interval shows on the, um, on the key here. So the contour interval is 0 0.25 meter. So every 0 0.25 meter, a contour line is drawn and the elevation is taken for that particular contour line. So I hope this video helps you to understand better what is a topographical survey. It is not difficult. A topographical survey is simple done to determine the difference in elevation on your site because some sites are not the land is not flat is not perfectly slope some land is gently slope and some land are steeply slope but for the ones that are steeply slope i recommend that you get a topographical survey done so has to have your designer produce a efficient building in terms of cost and reduce the amount of money that is going to spend to complete your project. So that is it for this video. If you find the video interesting, make sure to leave a comment. And if you do not understand anything, feel free to ask me any question as it relates to this video and i will be more than happy to answer your question take care of yourself and i am going to catch you in another video no respect okay respect